Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Proverbs 15 verse 26 The Lord detests the thoughts of the wicked, but gracious words are pure in his sight. Isaiah 26 verse 3 you will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. Isaiah 32 verse 6 For fools speak folly, their hearts are bent on evil. They practice ungodliness and spread error concerning the Lord. The hungry they leave empty and from the thirsty they withhold water. Jeremiah 4 verse 14 Jerusalem, wash the evil from your heart and be saved. How long will you harbor wicked thoughts? Ezekiel 11 verse 5 Then the Spirit of the Lord came on me, and he told me to say, This is what the Lord says, that is what you are saying, you leaders in Israel, but I know what is going through your mind. Daniel 2 verse 29 As your majesty was lying there, your mind turned to things to come, and the revealer of mysteries showed you what is going to happen. Hosea 7 verse 15 I trained them and strengthened their arms, but they plot evil against me. Amos 4 verse 13 He who forms the mountains, who creates the wind, and who reveals his thoughts to mankind, who turns dawn to darkness, and treads on the heights of the earth, the Lord God Almighty is his name. Micah 2 verse 1 Woe to those who plan iniquity, to those who plot evil on their beds. At morning's light, they carry it out because it is in their power to do it. Nahum 1 verse 11 from you, Nineveh, has one come forth who plots evil against the Lord and devises wicked plans. Habakkuk 1 verse 11 Then they sweep past like the wind and go on guilty people, whose own strength is their God. Zechariah 7 verse 10 Do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the foreigner or the poor, do not plot evil against each other. Malachi 3 verse 16 Then those who feared the Lord talked with each other, and the Lord listened and heard. A scroll of remembrance was written in his presence concerning those who feared the Lord and honored his name. Matthew 5 verse 8 Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Matthew 9 verse 4 Knowing their thoughts, Jesus said, Why do you entertain evil thoughts in your hearts? Matthew 12 verse 34 You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Matthew 15 verse 19 For out of the heart come evil thoughts murder adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false testimony, slander. Matthew 22 verse 37 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Mark 7 verse 21 For it is from within, out of a person's heart, that evil thoughts come sexual immorality, 
Theft, murder. Mark 12, verse 30. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. Luke 1, verse 51. He has performed mighty deeds with his arm. He has scattered those who are proud in their inmost thoughts. Luke 2, verse 35. So that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed and a sword will pierce your own soul too. Luke 6 verse 45 A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart, and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Luke 8 verse 12 Those along the path are the ones who hear, and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. Luke 9 verse 47 Jesus, knowing their thoughts, took a little child and had him stand beside him. Luke 10 verse 27 he answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 12 verse 17 He thought to himself, What shall I do? I have no place to store my crops. Luke 12 verse 19 And I'll say to myself, you have plenty of grain laid up for many years. Take life easy, eat, drink, and be merry. Luke 24 verse 38 He said to them, Why are you troubled, and why do doubts rise in your minds? John 2 verse 24 But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. John 5 verse 42 But I know you. I know that you do not have the love of God in your hearts. John 6 verse 61 Aware that his disciples were grumbling about this, Jesus said to them, Does this offend you? John 7 verse 38 Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, Rivers of living water will flow from within them. John 8 verse 42 Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me, for I have come here from God. I have not come on my own, God sent me. John 13 verse 2 The evening meal was in progress, and the devil had already prompted Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. John 13 verse 27 As soon as Judas took the bread, Satan entered into him. So Jesus told him, What you are about to do, do quickly. Acts 8 verse 22 Repent of this wickedness, and pray to the Lord in the hope that he may forgive you for having such a thought in your heart. Romans 1 verse 21 For although they knew God, they either glorified him as God nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking became futile and their foolish hearts were darkened. Romans 8 verse 27 and he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God's people in accordance with the will of God. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Romans 14 verse 1 Accept the one whose faith is weak, without quarreling over disputable matters. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, 
that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 16 For who has known the mind of the Lord so as to instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 20 And again, the Lord knows that the thoughts of the wise are futile. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11 When I was a child, I talked like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put the ways of childhood behind me. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 20 Brothers and sisters, stop thinking like children. In regard to evil be infants, but in your thinking be adults. 2 Corinthians 3 verse 14 But their minds were made dull, for to this day the same veil remains when the old covenant is read. It has not been removed, because only in Christ is it taken away. 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 to 5 For though we live in the world, we do not wage war as the world does. The weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. 2 Corinthians 13 verse 11 Finally, brothers and sisters, rejoice. Strive for full restoration. Encourage one another. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace will be with you. Galatians 5 verses 19 to 21 The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions and envy, drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. Ephesians 4 verse 17 So I tell you this, and insist on it in the Lord, that you must no longer live as the Gentiles do, in the futility of their thinking. Ephesians 4 verse 23 To be made new in the attitude of your minds. Ephesians 4 verse 24 And to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. Ephesians 5 verse 10 And find out what pleases the Lord. Philippians 1 verse 27 Whatever happens, conduct yourselves in a manner worthy of the gospel of Christ. Then, whether I come and see you or only hear about you in my absence, I will know that you stand firm in the one spirit, striving together as one for the faith of the gospel. Philippians 2 verse 2 then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Philippians 2 verse 5 In your relationships with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus. Philippians 3 verse 15 All of us, then, who are mature should take such a view of things. And if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Philippians 4 verse 6 Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, 
Present your requests to God. Colossians 2 verse 18 Do not let anyone who delights in false humility and the worship of angels disqualify you. Such a person also goes into great detail about what they have seen. They are puffed up with idle notions by their unspiritual mind. Colossians 3 verse 1 Since then you have been raised with Christ. Set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Colossians 3 verse 15 Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Colossians 3 verse 16 Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 4 On the contrary, we speak as those approved by God to be entrusted with the gospel. We are not trying to please people but God who tests our hearts. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 9 Now about your love for one another we do not need to write to you, for you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15 Make sure that nobody pays back wrong for wrong, but always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21 But test them all. Hold on to what is good. 2 Thessalonians 2 verse 2 Not to become easily unsettled or alarmed by the teaching allegedly from us whether by a prophecy or by word of mouth or by letter asserting that the day of the Lord has already come. 1 Timothy 2 verse 8 Therefore I want the men everywhere to pray, lifting up holy hands without anger or disputing. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 for the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. 2 Timothy 2 verse 7 Reflect on what I am saying, for the Lord will give you insight into all this. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. Titus 1 verse 15 To the pure all things are pure, but to those who are corrupted and do not believe, nothing is pure. In fact, both their minds and consciences are corrupted. Titus 2 verse 6 Similarly, encourage the young man to be self-controlled. Titus 3 verse 2 To slander no one, to be peaceable and considerate, and always to be gentle toward everyone. Philemon 1 verse 6 I pray that your partnership with us in the faith may be effective in deepening your understanding of every good thing we share for the sake of Christ. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart.